Canada basketball is uniting under the most dominant women's basketball program the nation has ever seen. The government-funded provincial system and private academy teams are fueling it. ASU women's basketball player Taya Hansen is a homegrown star out of Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. She started playing for Team Canada in 2014 and hasn't looked back since. One boy, one girl chosen from each country, um, born year 2000 to come to this camp and it was just a blast. We played some basketball, we toured around. So that was something I got to do and represent Canada for the first time when I was 14 years old. At 20, Hansen is already considered a veteran on the national team. In 2015, she won a gold medal at the FIBA Americas. In 2019, she competed at the FIBA U19 Women's Basketball World Cup. Hansen wears her country's name with pride no matter where she's competing. But it's so awesome because you're bringing the best players from the whole country together. And so it's a team full of all-stars and you're just trying to um, blend and create beautiful basketball. ASU freshman forward Maggie Besselink of Kingston, Ontario won a gold medal and was named tournament MVP at the U17 National Championships. Besselink was selected multiple times to compete for Team Canada, but due to many injuries, has never been able to play for the national team. I got to put on the jersey once for photos and I got chills. It was so amazing to have Canada across your chest. And it was such an honor to say like, wow, all these little girls and all these like children aspiring to be athletes in the future, like look up to me and my team. The provincial system unites them despite that Hansen and Vesely grew up roughly 2,700 miles away from one another. During the summers at national championships, Canadian athletes represent their homes rather than AAU teams. And college coaches as well as national team members watch closely for the next Canadian basketball stars. You don't have to bring your child from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Toronto on a specific weekend when there might be some Division One, you know, recruiters for because the recruiters aren't going out to Halifax. You gotta make sure you get your kid in front of those recruiters. So yeah, I think it's a snowball that we're seeing rolling down a hill very fast. Canada basketball finds itself between the provincial system and a few private academies. Taya Hansen spent her junior season playing for the TRC Basketball Academy in Ontario, Canada, because that's where Canada basketball is centrally located. The rise of the academy teams can mean a stronger national team, but a weaker provincial system. But the two are actually uniting the national team together. There's a lot of passion there. We take a lot of pride in our work ethic, um, and all that we put into the game. Maggie and Taya met at a basketball camp for the national team long before ASU was ever on her mind. Besseling says it was actually an official visit at ASU during the recruitment process that helped turn the Ontario native into a Sun Devil. I had no idea she was at ASU. And when they were recruiting me, she was my host on my visit. And I was like, wow, this is like a special connection. And it kind of like won me over. Despite on-court success, Hansen feels that their long-term legacy is more important than anything. I think character is more important than anything and something that I do want to be known for is someone that is was just passionate about the game, gave it all they had, um, and loved the people that they did it with. Reporting for Cronkite News, I'm Gabrielle Ducharme. Holy smokes!